NFL Week 10 Anytime Touchdown Props. I'll give you my three favorite plays. We wrap them up into what we call the pay dirt parlay. That's sitting at plus 559 this week. And we have our biggest long shot of the season at plus 460. I'm Steve Seagrave from SportsMemo.com. I have a promo code to share towards the end of the video. It gets you a three-day all-access pass for the price of one. But for now, if you guys enjoy these videos, like and subscribe. Post those touchdown picks in the comment section. If you don't have a pick, just type in the letters TD to help us out with the algorithm. So we'll get right into it. Coming off an 0-3 week, unfortunately, we don't have to go over the players. We're going to go back to one of them, actually. But nowhere to go but up from here, and I am fully determined to bust out the broom again this week. I'll get right into it with my favorite play, Justin Jefferson, plus 100 over at DK. He's only scored once in his last four games after scoring each of his first four games of the season. However, he's been more heavily targeted with 40 targets during the last month compared to 29 in those first four games. He's just been unlucky in the touchdown department his last two games, 137 yards, 115 yards. And now he's facing this Jacksonville defense that is built for him to score a touchdown against. They allow the most passing touchdowns with 19, second most passing yards, and fourth most wide receiver touchdowns with 10. They play man coverage at the second highest rate in the NFL. And according to PFF, uh, JJ is the number two player behind AJ Brown to beat man coverage. Uh, Brown let us down against the Jags, but I expect Jefferson to beat them over the top and uh, get back on track with his touchdowns. Number two on the list, we're going to go to James Cook. you got to keep your eye on the odd shop on this one. He's at minus 110 at FanDuel. He's all the way up to minus 145, though, over at DK and other books. He scored in three of his last four games, five of his last seven games, despite um, Ray Davis taking on a little bit of a larger role recently. The Colts have only allowed five running back touchdowns this season, but they have allowed the second most running uh, rushing attempts with 33 plus per game and the second most rushing yards with nearly 150 per game. So they're, they've been getting gashed on the run. It's only a matter of time before these backs start finding the end zone against them. And Cook, he's still the man in the red area. Last four games, he's had 15 uh, red zone touches. Uh, so he's still the top option over Ray Davis. Bills minus four against a Flacco-led Colts team. I expect Buffalo to be playing with a lead. I expect them to ride the running game and utilize James Cook and watch him find the end zone for us this week. So number three, we go back to a guy that let us down last week. And if they're going to put out a minus 130 price tag, on David Montgomery, we're going to play him. Uh, he did, like I said, let us down, but he still scored in six of eight games on the season, 10 of his last 13 games overall. Uh, he's only failed on back-to-back -back weeks to score a touchdown once in the past two seasons. Uh, he still had a solid game. He was running in bad weather, had uh, 17 carries for 73 yards, and now he'll be playing uh, back indoors against a Houston team that's only allowed five uh, rushing touchdowns, but however, uh, it's, they've played weak opponents. Um, anytime they faced a solid running back, a really strong running back, they've scored. Jonathan Taylor scored in two games against them. Uh, Jacob scored against them. James Cook, that we just mentioned, scored against them. Aaron Jones scored against them. So we got to play Monty at this price. We wrap up JJ, Monty, and Cook. Comes out to plus 559 over at FanDuel. Before we dig into that plus 460 long shot, i going to give you that promo code. It is 3PASS, the number 3PASS, on my page at sportsmemo.com. Gets you a three-day all-access pass for $34, which is the normal cost of a one-day all-access pass. So you get three for one. And uh, we got a loaded sports weekend. We're going to have uh, multiple NFL plays Cashed our 4% Thursday night football best bet last night. Uh, college football play of the week. We're 17 and 10. Lifetime with those. We'll have multiple NBA plays. Number one 
in the NBA so far this season. And we'll be in action in the NHL as well. Where we've only had six plays kept at low volume, but we've raked in nearly 10 units with those six plays. So utilize that code. Get yourself a three-day all-access pass for the weekend and make some money with me. As always, um, my plays are linked. A link to my plays, I should say, is in the pinned comment. I was getting ahead of myself because I want to dig into this long shot play. And we're going Brock Purdy at plus 460. I know CMC is returning, but he's not going to get a full workload. Debo and uh, Mason are still banged up. And look at Purdy these past couple of weeks. He's been a real dual threat. He's had uh, eight carries in back-to-back -back weeks. Uh, three of those in each game, uh, three of those carries have been in the red zone, and he scored three touchdowns in the past two games. So you look at those two games, eight carries in each game, three red zone carries in each game, three rushing touchdowns. Tampa Bay has allowed the most. They're tied with Cincinnati for the most quarterback rushing touchdowns with four on the year. Basically, any running quarterback outside of Lamar Jackson has scored against these guys. Jalen Hurts, Bo Nix, and Jaden Daniels actually scored twice against Tampa Bay at plus 460. If he gets into the red area, uh, he could take off. I also would look into his rushing yards over this week. Like I said, I know CMC is returning. He, I don't think he's gonna. He's not gonna get a full workload this first time out, and I still expect Purdy to utilize his legs. And with this price tag, for a guy that scored three touchdowns in his last two games and got that kind of a, um, a workload at plus four sixty at Fanduel, uh, it's all the way down below four hundred at DK. But take advantage of that one, and the pay dirt parlay. Our three top options are Monty Jefferson, and James Cook. If you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, hit that like button on the way out. Post those touchdown scorer picks in the comment section. Good luck, and we'll see the broom in week 11.